back into Snowflake, there should be a function now called star request get. This function allows you to invoke any REST API from within Snowflake. We talked about OpenAI GPT-3. This is a very powerful language model. I really love this language model. I wrote that API endpoint in Flask and I deployed it. I'm not going to go through that. I think that could be its own presentation, how to deploy Flask. Check on my channel somewhere. There should be a demo around that. Basically, I have that deployed to Frulitics app on Heroku. It has this endpoint called search. The endpoint takes a parameter. Think about it as a microservice controller. Request coming to the microservice. I'm taking that, reaching to open API, get the result and I bring it back. And Snowflake. Take for example, what is the population of Algeria? Let's try that using the playground in GPT-3. Run that six million or so. All right. Maybe we use a different module. Use the DaVinci Instruct beta. I think that's a better model. It should just give us an answer. About thirty-one million. All right. So let's go back and see how we're gonna do the same thing from within Snowflake. So in Snowflake, you have the ability to query the entire. GPT-3. This is amazing. Let's see what we get. To run this. It should take a few seconds and it should give us back, hopefully a result that is reasonable. Uh, it's hitting my endpoint and then my endpoint will query open AI and the results will come back. There you go. 29 million. Is that exactly correct? I'm not sure, but that's what GPT-3 is telling us. Let's try something. I usually just do this for fun. What advice would you give? to someone who wants to learn programming. Any question that you can ask, Snowflake now becomes your Q&A playground. So there you go. I would recommend learning Python. It's a great language to learn programming with, and it's used in many different fields. Oh, goodness, that's pretty cool. So I should do it. I learned Python with Java to be a data scientist. Let's see what GPT-3 says. It's so quick, you can see the speed less than 1.3 uh, seconds. Python is a popular language for data scientists. That's pretty cool. We don't have to keep it at trivia stuff like this. You know, of course you have your own data set in your organizations. You can take data that you have and then bounce that against OpenAI. For example, Snowflake has the sample data, which is available in this database, the TPCH data set, take a look at this. It has customer information and it has nations information. Area, Argentina, all the way. Many of the different nations are available in this data set. It's a very popular data set. What I'm going to do is look through the list of nations and bounce that against GPT-3 to get results of their population so we can store that into our database, right? You have lots of data set. You could be doing medical translation and coding, curious about some particular question with data on your system. Can you take that bounce that against GPT-3 at scale using the power of Snowflake and bring the result back into your platform using SQL? We're not writing crazy coding here. If you can do SQL, for the most part, you can do something like this. All right, so here we go to the endpoint. What is the population of, run this for the first 10 countries. Oh, this is amazing. All right, why do we have to do it at 10 countries? Let's just do everything, right? Snowflake has the power, GPT-3 is capable. If you bring the two amazing platforms, there you have it. We should be able to go across it, right? Now we can, if we need to scale out our Snowflake compute from an extra small to an extra large to crunch through all of this, you can do it. It's so elastic, it's so cost-effective. You should be able to do it. We came back, for some reason, I got a lot of no's. I'm not exactly sure why. Do we have to add another pipe here and add a question mark with our help? Limit this again for 15, one more time. There you go. We have the answers, Iran, Iraq, Japan, Kenya. All right. So pretty good. Then we can say who is the president of this country. We're doing all this knowledge discovery right from Snowflake, just using the power of GPT-3. Uh, who is the president of, replace the, the name of the country. All right. President of Algeria is Abdelazi, Argentina. And this might be a little bit old, depending on when the model was trained, the answers might be a little bit dated. So just be cautious about that. Something to note. Iraq is Fuad Massan, King Abdullah III. Kenya is Uhuru Kenyatta. France is Emmanuel Macron. Pretty interesting. 
All right, there you have it. So really exciting stuff. A lot of things we can do with OpenAI GPT-3. We can check the status, ask questions, write essays, write from within Snowflake, having access to one of the most powerful language models there is out there, GPT-3. This hopefully is a demo that has helped you, given you some pointers. I'm going to leave a link to all of these projects below. Of course, I'm not going to have a link to my API. This is just a demo API. You can basically create your own if you need help creating an API. With Flask, I can make a demo around that with video. Super easy. Something that's very popular these days. Check it all out. Again, thanks for watching. This has been Fru. You have been very awesome. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.